Hey there, my name is Gary Sims and this is Gary Explains. Now, if you're into microcontroller boards at all, so we're talking about the Arduino, the Raspberry Pi Pico, then I'm sure you've heard about microcontroller boards based around the ESP processors from Expressive Systems. Now, Expressive Systems is a Chinese fabulous microprocessor design company and they use CPUs from Cadence Systems, so that's the Extensor LX6, the LX7, and they're also now starting to use some RISC-V cores. Now, most of the boards that you buy for the ESP system, ecosystem come directly from China. You have to buy them from AliExpress. You might have to wait for a month for them to turn up. Uh, and you know that you don't know whether the buy you're getting from on the AliExpress store is a good buyer or is it, is, it, is it not a good buyer. You have to pay taxes when you do the import. Now, if all that sounds like too much hassle for you, there is now a company in Europe that are making ESP uh, microcontroller boards, specifically an ESP32 board and an esp 32 S2 board. And today we're going to be looking at both of those boards and see what is available. So if you want to find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so obviously while the processors still have to come from uh, China themselves, the boards are manufactured in Europe and they are also assembled in Europe. As I said, there's two types of boards. One is the Carbon V3 and the other is the Carbon S2. So the V3 uses the ESP32 chip and the uh, Carbon S2 uses the ESP32-S2. So we'll look at these separately to see what you get in each board. Okay, let's start with the Carbon V3. So specifically, it uses the ESP32 Pico V3 uh, processor, the dual core extensor LX6 running at 240 megahertz. You get Wi-Fi 4, that's 802.11 B, G and N. And you also get Bluetooth 4.2 with uh, Bluetooth low energy 4.2. There's 520K of RAM, 8 megabytes of SPI flash, 2 megabytes of SPI PS RAM. There's an RGB uh, LED that uh, can change you know, into many, many colors. You've got a quick or a Stemma QT I squared C port. It uses USB-C and it has a battery charging circuit. So that's a pretty comprehensive board. You've got USB-C, that's a great advantage. Lots of uh, flash there and that PS RAM. You've also got the RGB NeoPixel, which is great for being able to show different statuses just by looking at the color that you've created. And as I said, it's also got that uh, I squared C connector, the Stemma QT. Uh, very, very simple. You can get a uh, kind of a device that uses I squared C with one of those plugs in it, you plug it straight in. In fact, I'm planning a video on showing you how you can monitor your home temperature and then read it over MQTT using one of these boards just using a kind of a simple uh, temperature uh, sensor that you plug into the board. That's for a future video. So there you go. That's kind of the same thing as a standard uh, a kind of ESP32 board that you can get from AliExpress. It can be programmed in one of two ways. You can use Expressive actual native SDK. Probably the best way to use that is either using the Eclipse version that they've got, a dedicated version of Eclipse they've got for that, or you can actually now get it as a plugin for VS Code, or you can use Arduino. I've been mainly using Arduino with it, and it seems to work pretty well. Now, the other board that the company sells is the Carbon S2. Now, the S2 is really the next generation of ESP chips. So beyond the ESP32, you've now got the S2, and that uses the LX7 CPU core, also clocked at 240 megahertz. So an upgrade. However, there are a couple of important differences that it's worth noting. So while it does use the ESP32 S2, which is the Extensor LX7 CPU at 240 megahertz, it's only single core. So not a dual core like the ESP32 that you find in the Carbon V3. This is a single core. Also, it does support Wi-Fi 4, so that's 802.11 BGNN, but there's no Bluetooth support. Slightly less RAM, 320K of RAM. 128K of built-in flash that's built into the SOC itself, so no external SPI flash. You still do get the uh, Neo Pixel, the RGB Pixel. You get one of those I squared C quick or Stemma QT ports, and it's also USB-C. 
So because of the difference in the specification, the S2 board is significantly cheaper than the Carbon V3 board. So what are the pros and cons? Well, the advantage of the S2 board is that you get that uh, LX7 based uh, CPU, also clocked to 240 megahertz. That actually means actually more efficient. Now I'm going to do another video after this one about comparing all of the ESP uh, uh, processors from the 8266, the ESP32, the S2, the S3, and now also the RISC-V based ones, and just give you a, an idea of the performance and the power efficiency of these different processors. According to that testing, which I'll show you in that video, the S2 is actually more power efficient than the standard ESP32 that you get in the Carbon V3. However, of course, in terms of overall system performance, you've only got one CPU core. So if you were using both CPU cores on ESP32, then obviously that's going to have an advantage. So latest generation, you've got, uh, it's actually more power efficient uh, and it's also cheaper. However, the Carbon V3 has all the advantages that you've got Bluetooth built into there, you've got that second core, you've got that external uh, RAM, you've got the PS RAM, you've got more built-in uh, SRAM into the processor itself. So it really does depend on what you want. As they say many times in life, you get what you pay for. So these boards are available in Europe from a company called Ardu Shop, Arduino Shop, and they are based in Romania. So for purchasing them in Romania and for delivery in Romania, they offer a good price and good delivery. For delivery into countries like Bulgaria and Hungary, you also get good delivery rates. However, if you want to buy them uh, further abroad in uh, the whole of Europe, and I, and I know from my last video that some people even tried to get them from the USA, then unfortunately at the moment, the uh, shipping costs are quite high. Now I have spoken to Ardu Shop and they want to point out a few things. One is they're very well aware that the shipping costs are high outside of Romania, Hungary and Bulgaria. They're trying to establish some partners throughout Europe who want to take local stock of that of these boards and then sell them locally in their countries. They're also well aware that their website needs updating at the moment. If you click on for example the Euros uh, sign to change it from lei, which is the Romanian currency, into euros it doesn't work properly and also as i said some of the english translations on the website are not up to scratch now they're well aware of those things and they are planning to upgrade their website soon to be able to cope better with international customers plus if you're prepared to battle through a bit of those difficulties and especially if you're in eastern europe then actually you can get these boards pretty good and i'm hoping that over time ardu shop will be able to bump up their presence into something much more european wide hey even international Okay, so coming up, as I said in future videos, I've got the comparison of all those different ESP chips in terms of performance and power efficiency. I've also got my video coming up comparing the uh, RISC-V microcontroller from ESP, uh, from Expressive Systems compared to kind of standard ARM ones. Is RISC-V better? Is a RISC-V worse? Who offers the best performance? Who offers the best uh, power efficiency? Stay tuned for that video. Okay, that's it. My name is Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. If you like these kind of videos and you like the sound of some of those videos I've just discussed, then why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? You can also follow me on Twitter at Gary Explains. And I also have a monthly newsletter. Go over to GaryExplains.com, type in your email address, no spam, and there's going to be no spam there, but you will get that newsletter. Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.